got a PlayStation 4. It's the model uh, CUH-1102A. I picked this up for $50 uh, as a broken console. Um, I had this, I got this maybe a year ago. And back then it was uh, on the, the latest firmware at the time, it was on 8.03. The current latest firmware is 9.03. But uh, the reason I want to fix this now is uh, firmware 9.0 has a jailbreak available for it. And I haven't jailbroken a PS4 before, so I thought that might be... Uh, interesting so i wanted to fix this because it's on an old firmware and then uh, i will upgrade it to nine and then jailbreak it so the problem with this console is it won't take discs so i put the disc in and nothing now in some of these or in the playstation disc drive there's a little shutter that comes up when a disc is in so it's not hitting the shutter uh, the shutter is definitely down and when you put the disc in it doesn't it doesn't go in. Now, you may not be aware, but on this uh, model of the PlayStation, and possibly on all models, I'm, I'm not too sure about that, there's a manual um, release for the disk drive. So kind of like how like in an old uh, PC disk drive, you could put a paper clip in a hole in the front and stick it out, um, pop the disk out. This has a similar thing. So on the side here, uh, normally, the shell's on the PlayStation, obviously. On the side here, there's this little lump. Down there is a little uh, screw that is connected to a cog. So as you turn it with a Phillips head screwdriver, you can actually load and unload the disc. So I'm going to pop that in there. I'm going to manually load it. So as you can see, it's going in. Now, I've found with this that... If I load the disk in manually and then restart the PlayStation, it will work. So uh, what that tells me is the Blu-ray reader mechanism works. It's, it's literally just the mechanism that pushes the disk in and out. Uh, so that's the only thing that's not working. And I've worked out how to fix it. So uh, I've troubleshooted this for... A couple of hours, played around, um, and now I've worked out exactly what the issues, issues, three of them, are. <coughs> um, the first issue was, and um, I believe that this happened when a previous owner um, originally had this problem, I'm assuming they had a disc in there, and they've probably used tweezers or a screwdriver or something, jamming it in the hole to try and get the disc out. Um, that's my theory because there are some rollers at the front of the uh, disc tray and the disc slides along the rollers. Now, the rollers come in two sections and they're joined by a white bit of plastic in the middle. So when I first got the PlayStation, I would hear rattling. Um, basically, one of the rollers and the plastic thing had come out and they were rolling around in there. So I fixed that and originally I hoped that that would fix the problem. Uh, that did not fix the problem. Uh, but what it did do was telling me that um, there was something else wrong with the machine, uh, with the disk drive. Now, by manually loading using this uh, screwdriver, you can see that the disk itself is readable. So it's reading the, the, the disk that's in there. It just won't uh, load or unload it. So that tells me that the drive itself is getting power. Now, what I have found out with a bit of research uh, is that the drive itself gets power, and then on the drive board, there are three fuses, or at least three fuses. One of those fuses is for the motor that does the eject and uh, insert of the disc, and the other is um, for the motor, like the spinning motor for when it's reading the disc. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eject this. So I can push the eject button. The console will try and eject it, uh, and the issue is that it won't, the motor won't be spinning to push it out. So I hear the disc spin down, and that should be fine, but it's not. But again, if I put the screwdriver in here, I'll be able to manually extract the disc. So um, because this cog that I'm spinning connects to the same place as the motor, I'm... I'm aware that 
essentially it's the, the problem is that the motor isn't spinning now the motor itself i i believe in this case the motor itself failed and then burnt out the fuse so what i've what i've already done is pull this apart uh, several times but pull this apart and actually pull out the motor uh, for the eject mechanism. So I'll show you that when this is shut down in a second. Yeah. So if we take a look at the underside. So this is the this is the circuit board on the DVD drive itself or the Blu-ray drive itself. And um, we can we can remove uh, we can remove these cables and in fact that board So the first thing I checked was this connector on the bottom here. So this supplies power to this board. I checked it with a multimeter, it gets power. Now inside, on, on this side of the DVD drive, of uh, the Blu-ray drive, if I take this lid off, you'll see the back of the, uh, like a laser assembly. So that's the back of the laser assembly and this here, sorry, there we go. That's the back of the laser assembly. This here is the motor that uh, does all the uh, disc in and out, eject. So I found that this motor here uh, was burnt out. It didn't work. And the, and the way I checked it is uh, that's on a small subboard. That both doesn't look anything like this and also looks kind of like this. It's the same idea. You've got the motor on a circuit board soldered directly on. Uh, circuit board looks a little different. And then that is um, basically screwed from the under underside of the DVD drive. Now, the, the motor had, had burnt out. The way I worked it out was I found out it was a five volt motor. I took the sub board out and I applied five volts to it with my power supply and I couldn't get it to spin. So I knew that the motor wasn't working. I then thought, well, I want to fix this now. I don't want to order parts. So I went uh, out to the shed and found an old DVD burner. Um, this is the board with the drive motor from that DVD burner. Um, so I removed the motor and they happened to be the exact same size. Everything was the same. Um, this pulley thing, I just pulled off and swapped so the PlayStation still got its original one. But the actual motor itself that's in here now is out of an old DVD drive. And then I just soldered that back into the the subboard um, in the PlayStation. And that fixed that problem. So just by, I guess, either sheer luck or everything is the same, um, it's it's the same motor, five volts still, uh, same same dimensions. So that was all good. So now, I'm going to put this back. Uh, at that point, I had thought, hey, yeah, I've, I've fixed it. I found a burnt out motor. Replacing the motor should fix the issue I had. Uh, I was wrong because I still had the exact same problem. And it was then that I realized that there are fuses on this board. Uh, so I had, I had made the assumption that if a fuse had blown somewhere, the whole CD drive wouldn't work. I thought, well, if 
I can get it to read a disk. The drive must be getting power. Uh, that's not the case. Oh, well, it's kind of the case. Power comes through this, this cable here into this board. Now, this board was getting power. But on this board, there is a fuse for that motor. And there's a fuse for the other motor and uh, the rest of the drive. So I have now worked out which fuse it was on the board and found that it is blown. Um, so all I really need to do now is replace that fuse. And here's the problem. I don't have a fuse. Oh, I might, okay, I might have a fuse on an old spare MacBook motherboard, but um, since I've pulled this CD drive apart, I might see if I can find a fuse on there first. Um, save me digging up my broken MacBook motherboards. Okay, so this was the uh, DVD burner that I took the motor out of. Um, for those of you playing along at home, there's the information. Um, so what I did here, I took the motor out of that. And since I've already taken the motor out and destroyed this, I figure I will try and get a fuse off of its circuit board. Now, um, this this here, this is the circuit board from the PlayStation Drive. And up in this corner is the burnt fuse. So if you look at the microscope, I will show you, uh, it's this fuse that has blown. Now, uh, the way I've tested that is I've put my multimeter into continuity mode. And so the, it, it, uh, it beeps uh, when there's continuity. And if we check this fuse here, no, no beep. So now um, what I did was I, with this connected to the uh, Blu-ray drive, I uh, took a voltage reading from here and I found 12 volts here and only two volts here. Uh, I then, to test my theory, because um, I, I was pretty sure I was, I was going to be right, I grabbed the tweezers and I just quickly shorted out. Or shorted between these two pads up here uh, and the, the drive started to work so this fuse is not only definitely blown but also definitely my issue now uh, now I'm going to be honest uh, you can just do a solder bridge um, lazy me was going to do that but um, since I've got this board from the uh, CD drive that I pulled apart I figure there might be a fuse on here that I can steal. So, um, I had a quick look, not under the microscope, but just under uh, the light in, in the area. Um, and I found that uh, there aren't any fuses on this board, because I couldn't see any. But there is that there with the zero. So I believe that's a zero ohm resistor which I believe I can use as a fuse. So, um, I'm going to, uh, where are we? I'm gonna test this, I'm gonna see if it is a zero ohm, and it's got zero on it, so I assume it is. But uh, if I have it in the right mode. Yeah, so that, that's a zero ohm. And it, it works. So I'm going to steal this and I'm going to use this on the um, PlayStation's board. Uh, I believe that the zero ohm resistor will work like a fuse, but uh, it's got to be better than what I was going to do, which is just put a blob of solder on, which I'm also pretty certain would have worked. So I'm going to do that and we'll see if um, the, the donor CD drive has been enough to fix this $50 PlayStation. job but it definitely works 
Uh, I did a continuity test uh, between here and there. Uh, that's now functioning. So let's see uh, if this all, all works as expected. goes well this will take discs uh, I'll then open this up and um, pull it completely apart give it a clean this one isn't too dusty I get a feeling that the drive died early on in the console's life and didn't get much use um, because there is minimal dust on this so I'll give it a, a bit of a blow up with the air compressor but it doesn't need too much uh, and I'll put it all back together then. I'll make another video, I think, where I do the uh, jailbreaking process. So, fingers crossed, uh, this all works. So, will it take in the disc? Yes. All right. Spitting up. And... Start. It's uh, yep. That looks like it's working. All right, cool. So the uh, Blu-ray Blu-ray drive is fixed. So now I'll just put this back together properly. I'll clean it and put it back together properly, and um, then I'll do the upgrade to uh, version nine of the software. Uh, I may even upgrade the hard drive to an SSD. I think I'll do version 9 upgrade first. Anyway, if you've got a similar issue, hopefully this video has helped.